What happened? My mother just died. My Bobby? No. My real mother, Virginia Benson. The woman that raised me and loved me, loved me to death. She's in Florida. <sighs> she should have been. But no, she came to Port Charles to visit Bobby. <laughs> she was at the hotel, right? After you and Michael left, she had a stroke. And they couldn't. <sighs> Carly, I'm uh, sorry. <sighs> You know, my whole life, I've been looking for somebody who'd love me no matter what. And in the whole world, the only person that ever did that was my mom. What did I do? What did I do? I let my own stupidity convince me that she was second best to a woman that I had never even met. Well, now she's gone. <laughs> I was actually ashamed of her. <laughs> Almost as ashamed as I am of myself right now. Uh, um, I'll, I'll make the arrangements. Do you want her? Do you want her buried here? No. Florida. She loved it there, you know. Afternoon on the beach always took her troubles away. I was gonna take the baby and see her there when he got older. It was the closest thing we had to a home, you know? Listen, Jason, um, you've been really nice. But maybe it's it's time for us to go. Uh, no, I don't. I don't want you and Michael to go. Plus, Bobby is here in Port Charles. Yeah, <laughs> she wishes I was dead. How's Michael sleeping? Like a pro. Good. I'm gonna check on him. And then I'm gonna join him. I'm here about the baby. Uh, yeah, he's, he's sleeping. Good. In my mood, I probably shouldn't be near an infant or maybe anyone. No doubt you're angry. Shouldn't I be? Probably. How long have you known? Since Carly moved in. Oh. So I hovered over that baby when he was a heartbeat away from death. I nursed him when his mother decided to disappear. I stood with him and you before God the day he got his name, and not once in all that time did it occur to you to casually mention, oh, by the way, Bobby, this is your grandson. Bobby, it occurred to me. I couldn't. Why not? I promised I wouldn't. Oh, I see. So in the name of that promise, you lied to me every time I walked into this designer fortress of yours. Well, I'm pretty good at keeping promises myself. And I promise you, and Carly, and Michael, that I will have nothing to do with any of you ever again. Then why are you here? I came here to resign as your patsy, Carly's punching bag, and Michael's nurse. Carly seems ready enough for the real world, so ready or not, here it comes. These are Michael's medical records. Three cans of formula. Make sure you use them before the expiration date. The name, address, and phone number of the pharmacist and a good baby nurse. I strongly suggest you hire one before Carly's next mood swing. 
Oh, yes. And that tape of lullabies, they worked for Lucas. And God knows Michael is going to need a full night's sleep if he's going to live in this house. Thank you. What are you doing here? Washing my hands of you. Bobby, take it easy on her. She's having a hard night, okay? Jason, haven't you learned by now that Carly weeps the way the rest of us breathe? If she didn't feel sorry for herself, she wouldn't feel anything at all. Carly, what lie did you get caught in this time? My mother died, okay? Oh, I see. So it's crocodile tears. Well, at least self-pity would have been an honest emotion. I don't have to listen to this. You have no idea what my mother meant to me, okay? Oh, Virginia Benson is your mother now because you told Tony she was a sick friend. So since when did she get promoted to mommy? She was always my mother. You're damn right she was. She paid a hell of a price for the privilege, huh? Never knowing where you were, what you were doing, if you were going to bother to pick up the phone to clue her in on your whereabouts or the latest version of your life. Meanwhile, she was uh, telling all of us that her mother had died of cancer. Did you know that, Jason? Is there a fate worse than being the mother of a daughter who's pretending you're dead? Well, thank God I missed out on that job. Yeah, thank God. You know what? I'd really like you to get out of this house now. Oh, come on, Carly. It's not so bad. I mean, you spent the last two years pretending your mother was dead, and now she finally is. It was her final gift to you. She did what no one else could. She made an honest woman out of you. Get out. Gladly. After what you've done, what could possibly keep me here? Jason, please take the baby. Okay. Yeah, you take a good look, Bobby. That's the last time you're ever going to see him. I gave you an opportunity to be part of his life the other night, and you rejected it. After everything that had happened, I thought that I owed that to you. Well, after your rejection, I don't. I don't owe you anything, and neither does my son. Interesting family you're planning for him, with Jason disavowing the Quartermains. Michael will have no grandparents. Don't worry about it. I'll make sure he hears all about his grandmother. Maybe I'll even take him to her grave in Florida. This is not your family, Bobby. You did me one great favor in my life. You made Virginia Benson my mother. Searching for another was the biggest mistake I have ever made. At last, we agree on something. Okay. 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 